Hello, welcome to the show. Thank you for viewing. I'm going to show you, when I fast travel to Valentine, what I do to make a couple extra dollars. There's normally a couple horses hitched up outside the post office. If you walk up to them and walk slowly, don't run. You don't want to startle them. Then you should be able to loot the saddlebag. You can find money. You can find cash. You can find tonics, chewing tobacco, alcohol, food, all sorts of things. But then I take the horse and I go get myself another carcass, okay? Now, normally when I'm fast traveling into Valentine, I've stored my horse before I fast travel. I'm going to show you later in the video another, I'm actually going to show this two more times because there's other spawn points that I want to show you as well. And at the end of the video, I even have a map showing six different spawn points at Valentine that you should know if you're going to be doing this method. But this is the first spawn point, and you can see I'm, I'm not seeing anything to kill right now. Now, I keep checking a spawn point for a white-tailed buck that will normally spawn in right there where I just pointed my gun. Okay, now when this happens, I come here, and I don't see any animals. Y you have to make sure that there are animals spawning, okay? Sometimes, because you're so close to the town, the server doesn't really mark you as being in the wilderness yet. So you need to make sure you're far enough away from town where animals will actually spawn for you. So what I'm going to do is after a couple minutes of spinning around, because you can actually just spin around in circles if animals are spawning and get the buck to spawn. So that's what I'm doing. I've shown you guys that method before with cougars over near Tumbleweed, but it works just about on any spawn. I've shown it to you with birds in uh, north of San Anita as well. So that's what I'm trying to do here, and I have done it very successfully with this deer. But at this point, I'm like, well, let me make sure there are animals spawning on this server. Because every once in a while, you get in a server, it's just buggy, and nothing spawns. It doesn't happen too often to me, but it happens sometimes. So I'm going to check and make sure I have animals spawning. Once I know I have animals spawning, then I'll go back and I'll, I'll check that deer again. Because chances are, either the deer will be there... Or I'll be able to spin around a couple times after going back and get it to spawn because I know there will be animals on the server. So I'm just checking the woods here real quick because there should be something. I'm far enough from town to where I should be able to trigger some spawns. Now I just saw that there's a jackrabbit. I just saw a trail from a jackrabbit. So now I know animals are spawning. I'm going to go head back over and check on this deer again. And there it is. I can see it already through the trees. It's that dark little blip. I like to use my Carcano, and fortunately it's a three star as well, that's really nice. So now I'm just going to take it and, you know, preferably what you do is you throw it on the back of your horse, because I just had to call my horse in order to throw the hide on it. I did not intend to skin it there. I'm going to show you later in the episode how I properly do this method. Occasionally I hit skin on accident and kind of irritates me because I don't really want to skin the deer out there. You can't put the hide of the animal on a stolen horse and then go to the butcher and be able to sell that hide. So once I did skin it, I had to call my horse in in order to put the hide on my horse. And as you can see, I don't have a carcass on my horse. This was just demonstration purposes only. I'm not actually coming in to Valentine from a hunt. I'm just showing you this method. I am going to show you later, though, me actually coming in from a hunt with a carcass already on my horse. It's going to be pretty neat because I'm going to get a buck and a doe outside Valentine. Okay, this is a second spawn point. And as you can see, I'm, I'm slowly walking up to the hitched horse. So you don't want to startle it. If you run up to it, it's going to startle. And then you're going to get kicked when you try and loot it. And also, pay attention to its ears. You want its ears to be pain, pointing forward the whole time. If after you hold down X, watch when I when I start up the next video, when I walk up to the next horse. After I hold down X, it shoots its ears back. And when it does that, I pull back on the joystick in order to pull my character away from the horse and stop him from looting that saddlebag because I'm about to get kicked if I let my character continue. And then I just go loot the other horse instead. Now here's a second spawn point for a buck that you want to check on your way out to the one I just showed you. Unfortunately, this one's only a one star, but you know, that's going to happen sometimes. And again, this is a demonstration purpose only. My horse does not have a carcass on it, but the, in like 20 seconds, I'm going to start a hunt 
coming from Valentine. Well, actually, I'm going to be in Emerald Rancher. You're going to see here in a moment after I'm done getting to the butcher with this one. Which I actually probably could have cut this part out. You don't really need to see me running to the butcher again with a one-star horse. But I guess just for demonstration purposes, I want you to see kind of like these deer are practically on the way to the butcher. If you're coming to Valentine to hit the butcher, steal a horse. Make a couple extra dollars on your way to the butcher. I mean, I'm really, why not? You can see it just takes a couple minutes to go out of the way. And there I made $4. I didn't even bother skinning this one. You know, if that would have been a three star, that's $10 unskinned. Okay, now here we go. I am in Emerald Station. Well, Heartland's Heartland Overflow area. I'm heading to Emerald Station. I have a three star buck on the back of my horse. I tell my horse to flee before I fast travel. And I want to make sure the horse gets far enough away. Because if you tell it to flee and you just fast travel immediately while the horse is still close to you, you can still load in with your horse with you. So I like to tell it to flee. Give it a second, let it get away. And then I, I load into Valentine. And there's two horses again. Now watch this horse's its ears are going to buck back when I start to loot. See, right here? Now I pull back on my joystick. I stop the looting process. Right before I end up sticking my hand in the bag, I was going to get kicked from that horse. Now this one here, watch, its ears never come back. It shakes its head a little bit, but its ears never come back. So no problem looting it. Hop on. Now let's go check these buck out. And this is kind of neat because this is going to demonstrate to you also how some of the spawning process works in Red Dead. Because like I was showing you how you could spin around in order to get an animal to spawn, you need to like kind of realize that that means like anytime you're not looking at an area something could spawn behind you this also demonstrates that buck and doe are two different spawn tables like if you kill a buck doe can spawn right behind you if you kill a doe a buck could spawn right behind you but like if you kill a doe then normally you're gonna have to wait four or five maybe even six or seven minutes before you see some more doe again but check this out there's there's three doe over in this area here it takes me a little minute to scope each one in order to pick out the one that's most valuable but after I down it I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna throw it on my horse and then turn around and there's gonna be a buck standing right there just like really close to me that buck is this it's gonna be the same buck that I showed you earlier that three-star buck that I pulled out of this area unfortunately it's not gonna be a three-star this time but still it's pretty neat that I had this happen to where I can demonstrate it to you guys. Because this is, again, I was only actually doing all this hunt in order to make this recording for you guys. I went all the way to Emerald Station and killed an animal to throw on the back of my horse so I could legit show you guys me coming all the way from a hunt with something on my horse. And then I'm going to end up selling three deer carcasses when I get to the butcher here. Now, if you're coming from your camp at like cattail pond your horse is going to be loaded to the brim you know but you come over here if you pick up two three star a doe and a buck real quick like watch this watch i'm going to turn around first i like to go to the spot to shoot i don't want to turn around too close and look check this out there's a buck sitting right there like, i was just there like in the wilderness that would never happen the buck would never be there but I literally just crossed that path. That buck was not there. It spawned when I turned around. Because if it was there when I was running to that spot, then it would have spooked because I was so close to it. So, like, we know it it didn't spawn until I actually turned around to look and see if it was there. And when I turned around, I was far enough away to where it wasn't going to startle. And then you just take your lasso... And you lasso it, don't skin it first, because if you skin it, like you're going to have to call your horse, put the skin on your horse. We already went over that earlier, but also you can't lasso it and run in like this if it's skinned. So you want to, I mean, you might be able to lasso it with its skin, but it's going to degrade the quality if it's, if it's skinned. If you leave it unskinned, it will protect the carcass and it won't lose quality. And also you might have noticed I dropped that deer back a ways next to the stable back there. Because there's some bushes and stuff over there. When I come into this spot, I don't like to be pulling a deer. Cause w there might be another person that's close by. 
and they see me pulling that deer and they get an idea, well, they're going to run up and grab the deer and sell it to the butcher. So I drop it back here a little ways and then hope nobody notices me come at least this far with it. And then I don't look suspicious at all as I'm getting into the butcher. And then I just run back here, pick it up. And at this point, I could actually call my horse in so that my horse could be running up to the butcher with me. But, you know, I kind of would wait a moment to be safer. You know, it's best to, you know, have your hands empty when you're going to call your horse in. Because your horse is going to, in theory, be loaded up with lots of money at this point. Now, I, But now I've called my horse. I've already sold two carcasses to the butcher. And now there's a third carcass on the back of my horse. And this is just what I do when I come into Valentine. Make a couple extra dollars. And I, unfortunately, haven't been able to show you guys this until now. But now you know, and you can do it too. And these are the three buck locations I know over west of Valentine, as well as three whitetail doe locations. And, you know, there you go. Hope that helps you out. Leave a comment down below if you like this method. You know, if you have any other methods like this, you know, this is kind of like the way to go in my book. But let me know what you think of it. I'll catch you all next time. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. So until next time. Happy hunting and happy trails.